Hey everyone, Dr. Liz here. Um, you guys are so sweet. I have gotten quite a few personal emails asking about how my eye is after the macular pucker surgery that I had back in like February 2024. It is now July, early July 2024, and you can see my eye looks perfectly normal. Um, I think I regained about 10 um whatever's a vision you know they do like 20 40 20 50 20 60 i think before the surgery it was about 20 60 and now it's about 20 50 but there's no more wavy lines so that's good um that's about how it's going to be i'm not going to improve a lot more now i the pressure in that eye is still high it keeps going sort of up and down i try to come off the drops and it'll go up and then it'll regulate again and um, in like next week is about the second time I'm going to try to come off the drops maybe the third <laughs> I don't know now if it continues to remain high then what happens is I get transferred from the surgeon back to the ophthalmologist and it becomes a glaucoma in that eye so I'm hoping that this last round works and the pressure is regulated and can regulate on its own. Um, now, when I asked the surgeon whether the surgery created glaucoma, like, is that one of the side effects of surgery? He gave a very surgeon-like response. Okay. <laughs> you guys are going to love this. He said the surgery didn't actually create the glaucoma. What creates it is that the steroid medication that they use in the eye um, post-surgery for the healing is what creates it. So some of us are steroid responders, <laughs> quote unquote. Now you can see how that's a very surgeon-like response because if I never had the surgery, I would never have the steroids in my eye <laughs> for post-surgery healing. Okay. <laughs> But technically, it's not the actual surgery that causes it. It's the steroids that cause it. So I see his point too. <laughs> uh, no pun intended. But um, other than that, that's everything's fine. I can see fine. My eye feels fine. Um, for me, if the pressure starts to rise, it gets sort of the sticky feeling other people describe that as pain in the eye. Um, I don't know. I've tried to search that up and I haven't seen anyone else sort of put it that way. But the eye just feels like sticky to me. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know what to say. So um, that's about it. But again, hoping that doesn't really happen, that I won't have to be on eye drops for a very long time and that the next time I see him in about two weeks or so that it'll be done and that's that so thank you guys for asking super sweet of you and I hope this helps somebody else out there I'm still glad I had the surgery I think it was the right decision um, even if this is one of the results of it so I think the the best shot I had was to have a surgery early actually which is what the research said so um, no regrets there but there are some things that um, some consequences that I may have to deal with and this is one of them that um, I've had to deal with for a while all right uh, let's see doing lots of self-hypnosis to keep that eye pressure down by the way can be very effective for that as well as uh, blood pressure Okay, hypnosis can be extremely effective for bringing blood pressure down. So uh, just doing that kind of stuff for it and that kind of imagery. And um, other than that, I'm good. Hey, okay? if you want hypnosis yourself for whatever problem you're facing, give me a call and we'll talk about it. Um, drop me an email, <laughs> schedule an online consultation, and we'll see if hypnosis can be effective for that. It's not effective for everything. But it's certainly helpful for lots of stuff, right? You can see that over at my website, drlizhypnosis.com. Peace.